Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans, and today I am planning some daily sheets for my daily planner that just help me narrow down what's in my brain and really just focus on specific things throughout the day because otherwise I get super stressed out um, just because I like to cram as much as I can in a day. So these daily sheets have been so stinking helpful to me. Um, but today I have two different sheets. These sheets right here are from Amber Plans Her Day. They are back and front. So I have three sheets that total um, six six days and then I have this sheet over here which is from Live Love Posh um, and it's just the front side that I use for that one so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm too excited and we are going to be going in with fall stuff already because because I can <laughs> and quite frankly I like I only use my sheets Monday through Friday but I also like do it for the weekends because sometimes every now and then I'll do them on the weekends so like I'm I have like a lot more pages, you know, between like when I'll actually use them and then, you know, when I'll use them. So by the time I probably use these sheets, like it'll definitely be fall time. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to take my first page. So these are from Planny Thing. I have uh, autumn leaves and florals. And then I also have, oh, not that one. I'm going to do, I love the Halloween one, but we'll wait for that one. Um, but we're going to do pumpkin vibes. And this one just has fun, different pumpkins. And then I think I might play with these sheets and just kind of see what we can do with those. So let's just start with this page. I also pulled out the washi tape that matches some of these things. But let's start with this book first. Oh my gosh, I love these florals. They are so stinking pretty. Uh, those ones are gorgeous. Talk about pretty. We have the sunflowers, which I know I love. And then we have these ones that are just like the fall leaves. And then, of course, we have more florals. I kind of want to use these fall leaf ones. So let's use these. We do have some boxes um, that go along with this. And I do have the matching washi tape. So I have lots of options for this one part of me is like maybe i should just cut this maybe let's try it because i don't really want it to be longer try my best to go as straight as i can this is a thicker sticker so i don't think i applied enough pressure there we go then we have a little piece of that that I can stick somewhere else. If I'm going to take this long piece and throw it in here. And then I'm going to use that just to create. And then I'm just going to do some layering. Because why not? <laughs> I love to layer. So why not do a little bit of layering in this spot? And sometimes I put like things like stats over here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I do have tape that matches. So I'm like, I could add even more of this like element to it. And then I want to go in with the leaves. And all that stuff we can put these kind of like all over so I'm gonna start just laying out the leaves on the page just sticking them in different spots I'm gonna trim some of them so that way they're like behind then I can always use the other side of it in a different spot these ones on this page are kind of on a big side, so I am going to look at the other page of these, which these ones are a little bit smaller. They're not nearly as big, so I'm going to go in with these. I love fall. I'm so excited. More for like, as a, like a weather standpoint, 
like spring colors are my favorite like color wise but for a weather like usually in Colorado I mean we get all the seasons all the time so it's kind of hard here just because you know one day it could be snowing and then the next day it's in the 70s so we get a lot of bipolar weather but we do have like the nice like cool days and it's like perfect during fall time so I'm excited for that because I'm excited to wear my sweaters I love wearing sweaters so I am super excited to be able to wear sweaters every day especially since sweaters make up like 90% of my wardrobe <laughs> I literally have a sweater like I could wear a sweater a day without like having to wash my sweaters for at least two three weeks um, before I start needing like another sweater to wear because I just love love sweaters okay I think this one's good I'm gonna keep it kind of simple fall vibing okay let's go in with a floral I think I want to go in with this one because this one's just so freaking pretty like look how pretty that is I can't not use that I wonder if this one would be better on the live love posh page though I'm conflicted I might hop around just because I have like this big space. But then again, like I don't know. Or we can do, I kind of want to do a rip. Like I want to rip a corner and then put this in the corner. Okay, I'm going to hop around. So I'm going to put this one aside because this is just what's in my brain. Okay, I want to try ripping this and just seeing what we get. Oh, I like that. And then I think there's florals in this one that match that. Yeah, these kind of, oh yeah, these match. Okay, so I'm going to take, if I can find it, some tape runner. And I'm just going to add this in a few spots on this paper. And then I'm going to stick this in here. I don't know why, I just really wanted to do like ripped paper. And I really like how that looks and this is one of those pages where it's kind of hard for me to decorate so taking up a majority of the page with like a ripped piece of paper sounded just like a good idea on this particular page um but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna layer some of these florals in here do have some leaves that we can add in those I can. Oop. That was the wrong way. Okay, and then I'll probably find a quote and then keep this one pretty simple because I actually really like how this one doesn't have a lot on it, but it looks really pretty. I am going to add like a little header sticker though to this spot. So I'm going to do that and then I think I'm going to grab if I can find it. Um, my desk is chaos right now and I can't handle, okay, I'm going to grab this book because I know there's some, um, good quotes in here. So let's do plan today. If I can pull it up, I'm going with black just because I'd rather go with a darker color. This one says, plan today, live tomorrow. This is the Kell of a Plan um, quotes book. I'm going to throw that in there. And then we'll call that one good. I think that one looks nice. I kind of want to do another piece ripped. Would that be okay? But I want it like... Uh, I'm winging it. Don't judge. <laughs> I kind of want to just like add another piece, but this piece needs to be straight. So, cross straight as I can get it. Also, look at these scissors. Admire. Look how fun those are. These are from Target from the back to school. I can't help it. I see purple and then I see multi-chrome together. That's like an automatic purchase for me. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of my hollow stuff. I think one of my rulers that's hollow. I've gotten from like the Target back to school section a few years ago. So it's like 
Target knows where it's at. Okay, I like that. I never do like scrapbook paper, so I actually do really like that. It's simple, it's clean, and then very minimal effort to decorate that. Okay, I'm going to go back to this page because I kind of abandoned it for a hot second. And I really want to do these florals because these florals are just so pretty. So let me see what we have over here. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do some layering again, except this time I'm going to put this guy in here and then we'll layer with some of these boxes and then maybe a circle. Again, for stats, because that's usually what I'll put in that section. I'm going to go ahead and add some boxes to here. Oops, sorry. It was not. Oh, and then I put it down crooked. I wasn't in view of the camera, and then I put it down crooked. Things just going awry. <laughs> okay. And I guess we'll do this color, because that's kind of what I got what I have okay now I'm gonna go to these gorgeous florals these are so pretty it's the blues it's like the teal color in here that just like makes it jaw dropping gorgeous so pretty so I'm just gonna add some of these pieces around as much as I'd love to do like this piece, I don't think it'll fit very nicely on this page. So I'm going to avoid that one, even though that's the one I really want to use. I just don't think it'll do this particular page justice just because of the shape of the page. I'll have to save that one for like my regular planner. So that's okay. I'm going to just like make my own little bundle down here because I do want to fill in a little bit of this space over here. And I'm just doing so with these little individual floral pieces. Just filling in some space. Ooh, ooh. Keeping it pretty simple, I think I should add like a little quote in here. Um, I don't know if that will fit. I'm looking for black just because I want black. Or, well... I don't know now. <laughs> now I'm like, red could look good. Um, but not that shade of red. I'd have to do like the dark red. I'm also looking for a specific shape. So if it's not in that shape. Um, so I'm not really reading the quotes. I'm looking for the shape that I want. And then if I can't find the shape that I want, then I'll move on with life. But... For the most part, I'm looking for a specific, I need like a two-tier shape. Like this one where exchange is good. This is such a hard phrase for me though. I don't know about you, but I have really hard issues when it comes to change. <laughs> I have a really hard time adjusting to like changes in plans changes in life like I struggle real hardcore and you can ask my husband because he gets to deal with the brunt of most of that oh I cut through I was like what is that I like cut through okay so there's three pages three pages down let's grab our next page and let's switch books because we've kind of used that one for three of the pages I'm gonna go in with this pumpkins one which I am so excited I love these ones I think these ones are some of my favorites. Um, I'm so excited. Fall is calling. I am here for it. I am ready. 
<laughs> I am so ready for fall. I just want to wear my sweaters. That's like my main motivation. Just give me my sweater weather and I will be a-okay. Okay, I'm going to grab Amber Plants Her Day's black coats because I know these ones have... I might have used all of them in this one. Oh, no. Okay, good. I do. I have fall. Uh, let's do this. And all at once, summer collapsed into fall. We'll put that in there. Yeah, like that. And then I think there's some... Yes, there's some, like, decorative boxes in here so I'm just going to add one for stats because I like to do that and then we'll go back to our decorations and add just a little bit more I want to kind of keep this one simple because so far I'm really liking the simple look of this one so I do kind of want to keep it on the simple side and if you don't know, all I do with my daily sheets is I scribble in them. They're not cute after I fill them in. Um, so it's not like priority to, it's not like life or death if I don't put a ton of stickers in here. Because really all I'm going to do later on is scribble in it. So it's not that big of a deal. And then I can save this part for some other time. Okay, so pretty simple. Actually, I'm going to add in some more. I'm going to add some more of these like cute little pumpkins just like around. Around the spots here. Just put a couple of them. Layer some of them. Have some of them in different spots. Because the pumpkins too cute okay I think that's all we got of like this style okay so pretty simple for that one let's go ahead and flip this one over see whether we even have like those same ones but just like a lined version which is fun these are like little market pumpkins we have our Halloween pumpkins Ooh, okay these ones these are pretty Okay, so I want to see I'll do some layering again. Let's do it the opposite way. Do some stats boxes. And then again put our little headers header. I'm going to look for another fall. Like this autumn leaves and pumpkins. These. And then I'm going to go to these. These are really cute. Oh, if I can get them up. <laughs> I'm lay these down. I have a shorter one that I can stick up here. And then we'll put some of these pumpkins in here. I kind of feel like because I put that quote that says autumn leaves, I kind of want to put some leaves in here too. So I might grab that one same set that we used and add in some autumn leaves as well. So I'm actually gonna go back to this book. Where did we get those from, the back? No, the middle. Let's grab a couple of these leaves because they do match. And we can kind of throw these all around in here as well. Some of the autumn leaves falling. Pretty 
promise I'm trying my best to get used to using an X-Acto knife for everything. <laughs> it's not an easy task. Yeah, that makes it feel like more folly. That's not a word. <laughs> oh well. Um, I have a little walnut. Oh, that sounds really good. I love walnuts. Okay, there we go. There's our next page. All set and done. We have two more pages left. So let's do one more from the pumpkins. Ooh, these ones are fun. We have like a plaid. I don't think we have artwork that like matches them. But maybe we can... Will these match? Maybe we can do some more rip with this paper since we have it. I have this one, but I think I'm going to stick to this one because I think I can make this kind of work. I'm trying to figure out how I want to rip this. Ooh, the stress. Okay, it needs to be a little bit more. And then maybe a little of the corner is gone. Okay, let's try this. I don't know how cute this is going to turn out, but we're going to attempt. Because <laughs> I'm like, might as well. We already ripped half of that page. Might as well just do the rest. And then we can use the other side, which we do have tape, which is somewhere on my desk. Lost in the Abyss, that kind of matches that, but that might be like overkill. Maybe these plaid ones are overkill too. Maybe we should just go with like <laughs> a light pumpkin where it's not so crazy. Or even maybe the lined pumpkins. Maybe we can do the lines. Okay, let me grab, I think brown. Should I try brown boxes? Kind of stay in this brown zone. Kind of liking that. Um, so I think I'm going to grab this nice dark brown. Throw this in here. And then I'm going to start grabbing some of these like lined pumpkins. Ooh. Start adding these in here. to go along with that. We're keeping it a little bit more neutral. I actually need a square. So I'll look for a square. Oh, it's a fuzz, don't worry. <laughs> I almost had a mini heart attack. I thought that was a spider. It was just a fuzz. Okay, put that in there. And then I'm going to go in with, well, I guess I have some on this page. Don't have to switch pages. Put my little header marks in here. Again, keeping it pretty simple. I'm going to put this quote in here from... Amber's book that says pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. Put that in there. Grab a few more pumpkins. Throw around here. Uh, this one. Alright, and then call that one good. So pretty simple. Flip it over. We have one more page. I want to do the sunflowers again because I really like the sunflowers. They are really pretty. And I think I can keep using the brown tones. But I think these ones have boxes. Oh yeah, this one has boxes. That goes with it. So I'll just use the boxes that we have. Put this one right in the middle. And eee. put my 
boxes. Ooh, I don't want to do that one. It's too much green. <laughs> too much green layering. I'm not feeling that. I can put more green somewhere else. The brown somewhere else. And then, whoop. Go back to this page that I started. Start adding these gorgeous sunflowers in here. Because they're some of my favorite. Again, keeping it pretty simple. Uh, let's grab this little piece. Right up there. Uh, and then I'm going to grab this quote. The whole world changes color. To throw in here. Throw a little bit of that in there. And I think that's probably... Actually, let's do this create. I can pull it up. Oh no! I ripped it! It's okay, I have another one. That was my bad. I pulled it up too crazy. It's a good thing I have another book of these. <laughs> okay, there we go. Pretty simple. So using Planty Things Autumn Leaves and Florals and then Pumpkin Vibes, here are all seven of our pages. So we have our sunflowers and then I really like the ripped paper look. That was fun. I've never done that before. Same thing with this one. Love how that turned out. There's the, this is what, the fourth one, fifth, and then sixth. And seventh, there we go. Some more sheets for my daily planner. But I still hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!